Hi guys, welcome to Linear Searcher Sequential Search Algorithm. Here in this tutorial, I will teach you what is a linear search and how does it works with one dimensional arrays. So here we have a set of array with the values 5, 1, 3, 0, and 7. For example, we we will search T. This tree will be compared one by one to each of the elements until it was equal. Unless, if the value is not in here, a message not found will appear. So, example, we compare 3 to 5. It is not equal. So, the loop will still go. 3 is equal to 1. No. 3 is equal to 3. Yes. So, a message that 3 is found at index 2 will appear. Let's see. So, now I will show you how to code it. So, here we already have a array class. We have import scanner method for getting user inputs. Here, I have already declared a read in as the variable of our scanner. Final int size 5 as the size of our array. And the loop for getting the user input, the, the contents of the array. And another for loop for showing us the contents of our array. We can say that values of the array. So, for linear algorithm, we have to make another for loop for searching. But before that, we have to initialize variables that we will need, like in So, A here and B here will be used later as a CTR or a variable and search here will be the variable for our search number so now we can have the statement So we have here a print of enter number to be searched. As you can see here, we used the variable read in because we are getting the user input that will be stored on our search variable. So this will be the number that we will be searching on our array later. And now we can now create a for loop for our searching algorithm. Here we now have a for loop for our searching but before that, we have to make a do while. This will help us to find to stop the loop if we've already find the values, and if not, we will have another statement. The value is not found.
in this case I used I used if else statements if to make the for loop and if the value is to be searched is not in the array the else statement will occur there. now in for loop we have to also have a if else statement for comparing So if array CTR or the value of the array is equal to the number that we are searching, a statement that the search number is found. Found at index CTR. And then we have to trigger that the loop should stop. So we have this. Else, B will be equal to 1. So that the loop will go here, not found. If you try this, run the file. We can input 4. Two, three, one, and two. So as you can see, we have four, two, three, one, two. If we search two, found at index one, and two found at index four. If we try to find, try to find a number not in our array. For example, we found 6. A not found statement occurred. Meaning that 6 is not a value of our array. So that's it. That's for our linear search. The next video, I will teach you how to make, how to use a binary search in searching. Thank you guys.